Welcome along to the Babacombe Model Village. Now, if you're a fan of attention to detail, then this place is an absolute paradise. I once heard this described as the biggest, smallest village in the whole of the Southwest. And while you get your head around exactly what that means, let me bring you over here. And you may have noticed that there's a certain theme to the Model Village this week. It is, of course, Jubilee Week. And you can see here the Queen and the Duchess of Cornwall in their carriage, surrounded by guards on horseback. There's plenty of other Jubilee themed things to see here and I'm delighted to say that we can speak now to the man behind all of this. We can speak now to Wayne. Wayne, thank you so much for, for joining us this afternoon. Um, That's okay. Just talk us through your role here at the Model Village. What exactly is it that you do? Uh, I've been here for 37 years and I've been making figures all that time and I do the vehicles as well. So a lot of, lot of work. So lots of Jubilee themed things here this week, obviously. Yes. Um, talk us through exactly what we can see and, and just some of the detail that we're seeing here today. Well, the figures in the row there took me um, two months to make. Um, each figure is about four hours to make and paint. So there's a lot of work gone into it. Uh, I like the Queen figure the best because that was made of a different material. So you can spend more time and make a better job of it. And I can see how busy you are, obviously it's half term. What do you think it is about model villages that intrigues people so much? It's just something completely different. I mean, you've got a, a village inside a village, so you've got Babacombe. So it's all, you know, very similar sort of thing. And you've been doing this for, for a very long time. You said to me earlier that you could do this with your eyes closed, but are there any particular models that are harder to make than others? Um, not really, well, um, well, I would say the parade, I like the ones on the horses, they took a lot longer to make. But I'm actually, I like them. Um, yeah, they were very good. And you do try to keep up with current events, and if something appears in the news, it's nice to, to sort of slot it into the village somewhere. Oh, and people, yeah. People yeah. notice these things, don't yeah. they? I'll say anything that crops up from now on, we will be doing something to go with it just because it's popular. And I made the beef eaters to go around the gardens as well, so the kids can look for the beef eaters while they're walking around. Yeah, okay. Well, keep up the good work, Wayne. Thanks so much for, for talking to us. So there you go, the Babacan Model Village is open for business, lots of Jubilee themed things. So if the weekend gets a bit much for you and the Queen Jubilee feels a bit big, why not shrink it down to a manageable size and come along to the Babacan Model Village. Sam Blackledge, ITV News.